What's going on everybody, Electric Starts here, and I'm back with another video, and today guys, we're going to be doing an episode 1 breakdown on the Cuphead show, Car and Evil. Spoiler warnings if you guys haven't seen the episode already, but if you have, then you guys should be A-OK, -okay. but just remember, I'm going to be breaking down every shot you might have missed in this episode. Um, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this, and uh, without further ado, let's get to it. So... As you guys begin watching episode one, the the first thing we see right here is a huge cup version of well Cuphead, but just the head, not the body itself, but Cuphead's head rotating 360 as Mugman swoops around him like an airplane. I mean, he's already on the airplane, but he goes. And uh, one thing that kind of reminds me of the intro right here was the Universal logo. But it's not like Universal, but you know what I mean, right? Um, so we get a glimpse at the map right there. But if you look above the map, you see this two red dice above it. And that's a reference to the Cuphead video game. When you enter the casino with Cuphead and Mugman, they roll the dice with red. So. Keep that in mind, guys, that that this is probably just a reference to the video game. But as the map opens itself, we get a good glimpse at the Inkwell Isle with Calamaria right there, the three-headed dragons, I can't remember their name, and Captain Briny Beer. I think that's how you say his name, but the singer goes like, Come with me to the Inkwell Isle. It's just round the corner, maybe 29 miles. When the good nurse back and the headlines between. And I'm not going to get a copyright strike from that, but. As, as the intro rolls, we see their house right there. Their go right there. And as they swoop off their house with their rocket and, and their ice cream in their hand, um, they, they swoop off. And then, and then when they. And when they got hit by the branch, they both fell down and then mud splattered on Ribby and Croak. And then when Ribby and Croak saw them, they, they got so mad and they were about to hit them. But nope, instead they hit each other. Um, and then when that happened, Mugman grabbed Cuphead to run off somewhere safe. But instead... Um, they, they, they kind of, they kind of interfere with, uh, Chalice right here, but, but notice how Cuphead and Mugman, when, when they both ran off, you see the root pack right there in the intro, and I know it's not a good shot as I thought it would be, but it's the best I can do, but there they are right there, and they look so evil as, as they look at them, and I, I know, I want to kill them now, but right here, we see... Pork grind and this mysterious character that I don't even know who that is yet. But aside from that, you see a spider looking at them, giving the ugh face. And like I said, they they met up with Chalice, and then when that happened, we get a glimpse of the devil, King Dice, the henchman, and I guess you can call it his throne throne room. However, but when when we get a zoom in at the devil, we we look into his eye, showing us Cuphead and Mugman. Now, this is probably a reference to the final boss, like when you chose not to give him the soul contract. You you begin fighting with him, and, and when you look into his eye, you notice that it shows... The cup, lo well, the cup icon right there, getting smashed by a hammer. So that's actually interesting to see right there. And as the intro rolls, we see a bunch of baby flowers, which I know what y'all are going to say is probably Cagney Carnation. And yes, I believe that too, but it's not Cagney Carnation that we know and hate. But as the intro rolls... Well, if you're looking for fun, yes, we're looking for fun. We do got the heebie-jeebies. We got the heebie-jeebies. We see tombstones right there, which almost reminds me of the blue clay thing. I can't remember their name, but that's exactly what it looks like, okay? And 
as they as they got scared, the rocket swoops down below them, and then they both ride on it, and then they flew off to the music theater, I think that's what it is, or the auditorium, however you guys like to say it, but then Cuphead kicked out the original performer right there, and then he swoops in and did it for him, but this time he's going, you know, hyper mode, you know what I mean? And then when Mugman hits, hits the wall, Cup, Cuphead dodges it and then says, Oh no, I, 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 I did not know how that happened. And then Pork Mugman right here did a little... And then he fell down. Just like that. And then the introduction begins with Edward Kettle making pancakes for Cuphead and Mugman. And, and then when, when that happened... Uh, Mugman misses his pancakes, and they're all on the floor, and he feels sad, but then, but then Cuphead splits between them, but didn't even share the syrup with him equally, so, that's, that's, that's actually kind of sad to me, really, I mean, I, I love Mugman more than Cuphead, but I still love those two, okay, but, what I really want to talk about is Elder Cattle right here. Notice that the features and, and the design on him is way different than the video game, right? He's he's now wearing glasses. The color on his jug, I think that's what it is. Yeah. The color on his jug right there is a lot brighter and a lot different than what we all saw in the video game. And to compare with the video game right here, I mean, I think I think the show is a lot better. But I don't know what you guys think is better. But that's just me, okay? So, when Elder, Elder Carol assigns the boys that they're in for a special treat, they all got excited. But then, when Elder Carol said that, they were told to paint the fence. And that's not what they all thought they would be in. But if but if you guys look closely at the paint bucket right there, and when the boys were painting the fence, notice that the color on the paint looks a lot similar to you. It looks like that one power-up color that that we use to defeat every boss that we know in the video game. Like, you know when it when you click B as you fully power up. It goes, you know what I mean? Um, so Cuphead got a little upset that they're doing the same stuff every day. And and they want to go on a little adventure. But then Mugman says, you know, if we speed this up, we can go on a little adventure. And then when, when Mugman said that, Cuphead says, way ahead of you, bro. And then, hey, boys, how's that painting? When that happened... They were walked up. They they were told to go back to Port Grind's shop to pick us. Well, pick them up some more paint. But then they dragged themselves into this carnival thing right here. Now I know what y'all are thinking. This is probably not the casino that we know of, but this is probably because legal reasons, right? It's, it's super illegal for kids to, you know, gamble, right? So, Cuphead did that little reference thing from the video games that's super cool. And the ball that he threw at, at the soul ball thing, uh, the, the color right there almost looks exactly as one of their shooter upgrades. You know, the purple thing that bounces? Yeah, that's what, exactly what it looks like. But when Mugman looks at the sign, well, looks at everybody that they're soulless, he looks at the sign and the one thing he saw from the sign was that it says evil on it. And he got freaked out and then and then he and then he told Mugman, well, sorry. Mugman told Cuphead that we should get out of here. But Cuphead was like, "Nope, I'm on a hot streak." And then when that happened, the devil uh, introduces himself uh, with a little song, and then, and then he says, everybody loves the carnival, 
and uh, yeah, like I said, we, we, we get into this song right here, and uh, the uh, as as the song rolls, we we saw the devil in his dragon form that we see in the final battle with the devil in the video game, and then we saw this spider thing, and I know I, I hate the spider. It th that thing it just wastes your time, and you it, and it looks like it had spidey sense, and I'm gonna smack it if I see it again. I swear to. I'm not gonna swear, okay? So, when the song plays, the devil then shows us, the viewers, his soul vault, which I think is supposed to be like a collection thing or more a money thing. Because whenever I see vault, vaults like that, I, I think of money right here. But, but then, as the as as he continues his song, we saw his, his little. I'm not gonna say it. It's a little thing right there, and then when the henchman told him that the the counter thing stopped, Devil checks on it, and then he was like, "What?" And he was like, "Wait, but how?" And then he uses the scope, finds out what is really going on, but then he figured out who's the reason why, and then. And then the devil was like, oh, looks like we got a real show off. And then he poofs himself to the real world. And then when that happened, Mugman slowly turns around, looks up, and the devil goes, hello. And then Mugman was like, hey, watch it. And then when that happened, I mean, look, he looks terrifying right now. I know. But... When that ad happened, Cuphead misses his shot, and then the ball and the soap ball thing says loser. And then when that happened, uh, Cuphead turns around, and then he's <laughs> same thing too. And then the devil says that's game. And then Cup, well, Mugman saved saved Cuphead's soul. And I know it was a reference to the video game when you die. You know what I mean? Uh, he drags the soul to his body, and then when that happened, they 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 start a little chase right here. The devil starts to chase Cuphead and Mugman through the carnival. But notice that the roller coaster right here and the horse right here were both based off of Peppy the Clown's level. If you guys remember, I mean the roller coaster right there is kind of similar, but oh well. And then. They ran off to the funhouse for Azul, and yes, that's exactly what it looks like. They dodged some obstacles here and there, spikes, saws, er everything that you see right there. Um, they they then got themselves dragged down to the Hall of Mirrors. I mean, well, not the Hall of Mirrors, but you get what I mean. Um, the devil then appears, and then he comes out, he comes out right there, and then he was about to snatch Cuphead, but nope, they ran off to the little pipe right there, and then the gates begins to close, um, and then the chase still continues, and then Mugman told Cuphead this, that it's time for a double down, and then Cuphead was all like, what are you, nuts? And then, when that happened, Mugman says this, just pretend that we're corner, and Cuphead was like, we're corner! And then, Devil took a blast from his trident, and then Mugman and Cuphead dodges it, and then Devil, the Devil just shot the soul ball, soul ball thing, and then when that happened, all the souls are free and placed back in their bodies. And this one right here, bruh, just... The devil gets pissed, and then as they ran off, they went back to their home, fixed the fence, and then and then Cuphead explains everything what happened. Like we did, we did carnival games, and then Mugman kept on saying, "And you still owe the devil your soul," repeating the same thing over and over as Cuphead, you know, explains everything that they did today, and um. 
What it kind of reminds me of is, is that little intro from the video game where it's like, and you still owe the devil your soul, well, and you pay the price, something like that. But yeah, that's basically the end of episode one right here. What do you guys think of that episode? Do you guys really think that's good? Do you think, do you think that it, it could have been a bit longer than just 12 minutes? I don't know what y'all are gonna say, but leave your thoughts in the comments below. And uh, like I said, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this. And I'll see you all in the next one.